Hey guys, David here and welcome to a brand new podcast. Today's episode is slightly different to usual because we're actually bringing in staff members. So every now and again, instead of interviewing somebody else worldwide, we're actually going to interview the staff within FitPro and Leadec to really help you understand some of the stuff that we've done within our own fitness business and some of the stuff we're doing to really help with our marketing. So Jess, welcome first of all. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? <laughs> Jess was a little bit nervous about doing this today. She's going to be the first one, so do let her off if it doesn't feel great. But today what we want to talk about is how to improve the sales. First of all, how to improve people showing up to making sure that you're actually getting them onto the phone and turning up for your consultations. And then how to make sure you close that sale and also make sure they don't have buyer's remorse. So I think I was going to start, yes. And I was going to talk about all about once a lead comes in, that we need to actually chase these leads down because once a lead gives you their concept details we need to be on it as fast as possible would you kind of agree with that yeah i would say ringing them literally obviously as soon as you get the lead notification if possible if it's you know if you get it overnight as soon as you get in in the morning that kind of thing like as soon as possible get in contact with them yeah start pushing 100 percent, and we see a massive difference when it comes to if you call a lead straight away compared to if you phone a lead like five or six hours later and the perfect example we can give for that is let's say a couple had a bit of an argument in the morning maybe because the partner made a comment about uh the, the clothes that this partner was wearing and or maybe it didn't look good or maybe you've put a little bit of weight on or something and that's gone to their head and now they're thinking you know what i really need to do something about this and they see your adverts they instantly give you their contact details, submit it, and they're really thinking about all this kind of change in their head. The day goes on, you haven't phoned them, they get home, the partner's brought them a bunch of flowers or some chocolates or something to say sorry, and then that feeling has completely gone. So if you phone them up later in the day, then you've kind of lost them. So like Jess was saying then, phone them as soon as possible will make the biggest difference. So what kind of what do we do next once we've actually got them on the phone? Um, rather than starting your conversations pushing what you sell, yeah. get to know them. Make your make your thing the solution to their problem, whatever it is. Start the conversation by asking them why they what attracted them to the advert, what they found interesting about it, what attracted them to say yes, I'll put my information in. Find out what they're most uncomfortable with at the moment, what's not making them feel great and work from that bit so if someone says they want to build muscle don't try and push them a weight loss program and vice versa if someone wants to lose weight don't start talking to them about doing loads of like heavy liftings that are going to build loads of muscle because that isn't what they want yeah definitely agree it's kind of a sell them what they want provide what they need because again most of all we we know this as fit pros that most of the clients don't really know what they actually want or how it should be done they've just kind of seen some stuff online and they want to achieve results similar but they're not sure how to do it so like when you spoke to them initially what kind of icebreakers did you have to kind of relax them especially when you were talking to them on the phone so we actually used a call script so you'd start off with just your average like have you ever done anything like this before any kind of what your experience is just that kind of stuff so you already know whether they're like completely novice or whether they need a little bit more help and everything's going to have to be explained in a bit more detail and then um mostly starting off with things like what are you most uncomfortable with at the minute how would that make you feel um how how are you feeling with everything at the moment what is the problem that you want to work on um and working with that we had people like crying on the phone talking about how like in depth they they felt and they buy almost straight away because you you can work it to them cool and let's just pause there if you are an ads management client of ours just drop me jess ella on the team a message and we'll send you that call script so you've got everything you need to really go ahead and really start running those uh sales calls better and then you 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 explain the program to them correct yeah so you would kind of highlight the points in the program that are going to work really well for them so like i said before if they're looking particularly for muscle building then you would maybe talk to them more about your weight-based classes and if they're looking more for weight loss you would maybe target it more towards their cardio or how you can make weight classes work for them that kind of thing so you would have a sort of script on how you would say it, but just pick out bits that would work yeah. more for them. And then we kind of move on to the actual sale itself, the selling of the program. Now, if someone's ever DM'd you or these comments on your post saying, what is the price? This goes the same for that type of that type of sell to actually selling on the phone. You should never reveal a price first and then explain what they get. It should always be what they get followed by the price for the simple reason being, if you say the price first, it feels like you're then justifying 
why you're charging that amount. So if you say, yeah, the program's £200 for the six weeks, and as part of that program, you get this, 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 and this. It's like you're trying to dig yourself out of a hole, where if you can say what they're going to get, so you're going to get nutrition support, you're going to get coaching, you're going to get PT, checking in with you once a week, and all this extra great stuff. That's then building a value in their head where they're thinking, oh, you know what? PT sessions, three sessions a week, nutrition coaching and all this extra stuff. Wow, this is going to cost a lot of money. And then you say, yep, yeah, the whole price for the six weeks is just, well, we used to charge £189. Then think, wow, well, actually, that's a fair price. Whereas if you said it was £189 and you try to justify it, it's different. But then the big thing would come, especially when we were on the call, and probably Jess would agree with this, we wouldn't always have to sell on the phone. You might have certain conversations where you think, yeah, guaranteed sale, I can close this on the phone. And then we'd have other sales calls where you phone them up and you speak to them and you think, this person isn't going to buy on the phone. It's best to invite them down. Yeah, if they've got particularly a lot of questions in detail about um, how the place looks, what kind of equipment you've got, what the coaches are like, what kind of things you have like behind the scenes, are you like weighing scales, that kind of stuff, then you're best to get them down. If there's even sort of like a chance that they might not buy, if you push it over the phone too soon, you're probably going to say no. If you kind of, and if you're going to get someone down, it's actually almost best to leave the price until they get there. Yeah. Just so that they, they don't talk themselves out of it before they get in. Yeah, and that's definitely a big thing. So if we're confident and we're feeling like this is going to make the sale, again, we list everything that they're going to get, explain how it's going to uh, basically tick all the boxes of everything that they said they wanted, and then we'd reveal the price, and then you kind of go silence. Because once you reveal a price, the same kind of goes, whoever speaks first loses. So if you say, yeah, it's £189 for the six weeks and uh, and you start talking, you've kind of conceded the defeat because you're trying to justify the price. Whereas if you say it's £189 for the six week programme, how do you feel? Or it's £189 for the six weeks, should we get you started? And then say nothing. And trust me, like that is like it's, it's it's super awkward it feels really strange it feels really uncomfortable even if it's face to face and like if i was selling to jess now and i reveal the price don't say anything and let them be the first person to say yeah or oh, i'm unsure or whatever it is because that opens it up for you to reply back with whatever you need to sell so again the number one tip there is if you're selling reveal the price then go quiet yeah yeah, almost always have a backup as well. So if you've revealed the price and they've gone, oh, still not sure, then you could all you could go with, well, we could either get you down for a consultation if you're still unsure, or you could say fully refundable for the first week if you come in and you don't like it, that kind of thing, something to like back it up. Even when you say refundable, it's fully refundable and we only offer it because no one ever says yes. Yeah, and, and that that's a massive part. Don't feel, maybe you've done a coaching program with someone else before or maybe you've always done something in a certain way. Don't feel like you have to stick to it. And like we've just said there, we we'll either sell on the phone or if that wasn't going great, then we try and get them in face to face. And if we've given the price and they're not going to pay in full, is there maybe, uh, like we said, pay in full, but we'll give you a total refund if you don't enjoy it after the first seven days or pay 50% deposit today and you pay the second lot in two weeks time. Whatever it takes to get that sale, you don't have to reduce your price. You just have to make sure you get that sale. And then on top of that, what we've done a few times before is we've set the price for the six weeks and they've kind of, they've stumbled and they're not going for it. So we've been, oh, you know what? We've actually got an offer on at the minute. You get an extra two weeks for that same price and that's made a lot yeah. of sales quicker yeah yeah it's almost just like giving them a little bit of something extra even if you offer it to everybody make them feel like it's just for them because then it, it just gets that silver like you haven't reduced your price so you're still getting your same money and technically they're just filling that extra space in the session just for two weeks and if that extra two weeks gets them onto a monthly and you get them to 18 months or 60 months on a nice long-term client then you're good to go from there so now let's say somebody's purchased today uh, but their sessions or their program doesn't start for like two or three weeks how can we stop them having buyers Yes, yeah, so that was always a big one that we spoke about. Our course, our program started every three weeks. So if someone's buying like day one and they've got three weeks to wait, how do you keep them interested? So first off, um, using automations and things like that to make sure you're still contacting them all the time and that you're not like they, you're not being forgotten about. Um, and we chose to do an onboarding. So everybody that was coming to the onboarding got put in a group chat. The group chat was only admins posting. So like we were the only people that could message in it. 
but it keeps it fresh in their mind. Other people being in there shows them that there's interest in it, even if it's like just you and your coaches until you get more people interested, just keeping people interested and listening and like giving them all the information, things like this, is how you sign up for your booking app. This is what to expect on our onboarding session. And then closer to the time you can open it up and they can all speak to each other about how excited they are to get going. And it stops people thinking, oh, I'm not so sure now I want a refund. Yeah, and that's massive. The more you can kind of get them to start engaging and commit to the programme, if there's a big delay in it starting, the more likely they are to commit. And one of the biggest things Jess didn't mention there was we'd actually ask them what their T-shirt size was ready for when they start. We didn't actually get the T-shirt until they actually did their first or second week. But by saying we were going to get their T-shirt ready for the start, that makes them feel like, oh, you know what? These are They're investing in me as much as I'm investing in myself on this programme. So it kind of gets them stuck. Anything else you think we've missed? Um, I do think the T-shirt one's almost a bit of like a conversation as well, because you can say, like, what size is it? And then I'll come back to you. And then you say, what colour do you want? And things like that. And you open it up to a full yeah, conversation yeah. and it keeps them like coming in and also just keeping in contact with them because if they do start having questions if they feel like they can reach out to you and you can answer those questions you're going to get there before they think oh, i don't want to come anymore nice 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 so hopefully there are the four things that are really going to help you close more sales and get more people signing up to your fitness business through chasing them down selling to them buyer's remorse and everything else like that if you enjoyed today's episode as usual do let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and if you've got any specific topics you'd like just to come on and talk about again when regards to sales or anything do let us know too we'll speak to you all on next week's episode cheers